Hey what is up guys, I Hare Krishna here from yellowbell.in and today we have with this the Ficom Energy 653 and I am using this phone from past 20 days and I am pretty happy with it the battery performance is very good and the overall performance is very good so let's start the unboxing process and check out what's inside the box and I will give you a final, I will give you my review on it now let me show you what's inside the box so going in you will first find the mobile itself and then further going in you will find few booklets and a screen protector which is very good nice to see and a charger and a USB cable so that's it nothing else special inside the box and I'll show you the pricing which quoted on the box the pricing which quoted on the box is 599 rupees but you can get it easily on Amazon.in for around 4700 rupees so I'll leave a direct link if you wanna purchase it, please purchase through my link, it helps. So here's the phone itself and it's written the Ficom Energy 653. So here's the phone. So let's first start with the built-in design. The phone looks glossy. It's a plasticky back. So nothing to complain about for this price. Looks good. It's total plastic and it's also sturdy. There's no creaking or some other sounds like that in this so it's pretty nice and on the design side if we see on the right side we have the power button and the volume rockers on the top we got the USB charging cable and the 3.5 mm headphone jack on to side it's nothing it's empty on the back you got the speaker grill speaker is loud and clear and on the back you got the Ficom logo and 8 megapixel shooter with LED flash and on the front you got a 2 megapixel selfie camera so on the back if you open the back you can see that here is the battery it's 2500 it's 2300 milliampere sorry it's a 2300 milliampere battery and here we have the micro SD card slot in both of the sims so I have tried this phone with single sim in and 3G always and uh, the battery backup was good even tried it with both sims few times and uh, uh, one was in 3G and one was in 2G so it almost ran through one day of good usage like uh, medium to heavy usage so battery life is pretty good in this phone I am very happy with this point so I have already rebooted the device up so let's open up you can see that how it looks the phone looks pure stock android there's no customization from freecom and anything so it's total pure stock android and it runs on android lollipop let me show you that too it runs on android 5.5.1.1 which is the lollipop the performance is very smooth in this phone no lags at all uh, I just played few occasional games like Subway Surf and Asphalt Nitro and they played up very well. So let me show you the specification first if you are interested in. So here is the CPU Z app and you can see that it's in that it's ARM Cortex A7 processor with uh, which is Snapdragon 210 processor with 4 cores, clock rate 1.1 GHz and Adreno 304 GPU you go to device and you got 1 GB of RAM with its 5 inch display and storage you get around 8 GB storage so out of that you get 5 GB storage for your usage and then on system you get the Android 5.5.1 and you can see that battery is 2300 milliampere and the thermal sensors and sensors all the educate sensors are given not too much fancy stuff here so everything is fine so after built-in design, now I'll show you the specs. Now, the the major highlight of the phone it's it's this very cheap and it's 4G for the price it offers. Do some gaming in this. I'll show you how does the gaming works. This this is this game is called Asphalt Nitro. It's loaded now. You play. So this this device is also okay for occasional gaming, not too much, but uh, you can do occasional gaming in this and then you can just play a few games and uh, for a time pass and all 
the battery life is the major highlight of this phone even with heavy usage and all the battery you goes up to almost a day so no complaints with the battery the best battery life I've ever seen in any phone the call quality was good everything was fine 3G browsing was good Wi-Fi connectivity was good and so that's the game has came See that the game plays good. So for the cost of this mobile, the game is pretty nice because it's running. See that you can do a good time pass with it. So guys this was with the gaming and now with the camera I will show you the camera you can see that I have taken this sample shots with the back camera indoor lighting was good it was fine with low lighting condition it suffered a bit but you can't just ask more for this price you can see that the front camera is also pretty good it is pretty fine for 4500 rupees you, what you get is a very good phone which you can easily use and it has dual sim and all and very good for entertainment purpose also I have even a loop in a looping video playback it almost runs up to around 3 hours I have seen 2 movies in this so around 3 hours 20 minutes from 0 to 100 it uh, does it runs so guys what are our final conclusion the final conclusion is this for 4700 4, rupees you should surely get this phone it's a bang for a buck for sure so, if you want to buy this, I'll leave the direct link. You can check that out. I hope you uh, like the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel that is Tech Geeks HD. You can also catch us up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The links are available below in the description. Be sure to check out our blog. So, once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is Hajari Krishna signing off, and I'll catch you guys soon in my next one. Peace.